Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, we're going to take a look at Stalingrad Solitaire. This game is designed by Gary Graber, published by Canvas Temple Publishing. Um, this is another re reworking of one of his original games, Gary Graber. Um, the last one I covered was Atlantic Wolves that Gary Graber originally had done. Um, I think it was called Battle of the Atlantic, and then there may have even been one before that, um, like a version of it. Um, I know that then basically Canvas Temple Publishing, John Compton ended up doing a like deluxe version of it. Um, we covered it on this channel. Really good game. A couple minor like production errata issues. Other than that, good game. Um, so I was definitely excited about this one. So Solitaire, of course. Um, this redoes um, Gary Graber's Der Kessel, The Cauldron in German. Um, let's take, go ahead and take a look at it. Stalingrad Solitaire is a solitaire game, really, simulating the last weeks of the encircled German 6th Army and the pocket German troops nicknamed the Cauldron that formed in and to the west of the city of Stalingrad when Soviet troops broke through the Wehrmacht's front lines in December of 1942. So you play as 6th Army's commander, General von Paulus, all actions of the Soviet commander, Zhukov, and subordinate units are strictly controlled by the game rules. I right, can see a little bit of it there. So, solitaire suitability is high, thankfully, for a solitaire game. Complexity, medium, low. All right, sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and open her up. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed Atlantic Wolves, um, and I did appreciate the, like, deluxe version that Can Canvas Temple Publishing did. I have not played um, that Dare Kessel, the first one, um, so I don't have any experience with the game, the system, so I, don't, I won't be able to compare directly and say... Oh, this is improved. That is improved. I know sometimes you guys love that. And hey, that's always fun to do. All I can say is that, hey, I did Gary Graber's last solitaire game. And from, from Canvas Tone Publishing, really liked it. So hopefully I'll enjoy this one as well. A rule book up top here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. Full color. I already see some pictures of the different uh, counters that are in the game. Let's see. Tables. Table, 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 table. 15 pages with the tables. So if we don't look at tables, if we just, oh, strategy, uh, different, different phase, sample turn. Okay, so six pages of rules. So this game is not gonna have a ton of rules. Very nice, I do not mind that at all. Um, a lot of times with solitaire games, I appreciate when they have a modest amount of rules. Um, if they have too few rules, it could be a little crazy, but definitely okay. Here we have some counters, you can see. Um, Different uh, gameplay running through. Oh, and I was going to say the sequence of play here. Oop, sequence of play. All right. I mean, it looks simple enough. Standard text, two column. Again, only the six pages looks like, then it gets into a sample turn. Um, game design, basic strategies, optional rules, and then these tables and stuff. So, cool. All right. Very simple, easy, quick looking through that. No big deal. Oh, here we go. So we're going to have a bunch of baggies for the different counters. Always appreciated. Cards. We'll look at those in a second. Some counters. And it looks like some of them are escaping. Oh, and a nice die here. Nice clear die. Counters are escaping. Um, this was a problem. I'll say a problem. This was a uh, just a part of Atlantic Wolves was the counter sheet basically fell apart. This one looks like it's a little sturdier. Now, I'm not complaining overall because what you're going to get... You can see nice thick counters, large counters. They look good. Let's get these off here. Take a look at the counter sheet here. Easy to read. Um, obviously you have German forces, Soviet forces, and it looks like a bunch of different types of markers. We'll zoom in a little bit. Printing looks good, nice and even in the middle. Die cut looks good. Again, obviously, they punched out, already just literally basically fallen off the sprue. Not a problem there. Super thick, nice quality counters. Again, this is something you usually get with um, Canvas Temple Publishing. At this point, you're going to get uh, really nice counters, large, thick counters. And you're going to get a mounted map, which we will look at in a second. All right, so what we got here. Rest out of there. All right, so it looks like a double-sided player aid with the tables on here. 
Very nice. I don't know if these are the same ones from the rule book, and we're not going to look because I like to keep these videos short and sweet. Just cover everything. But anyway, anyway, it looks good. Nice, thick, thick cardstock. A uh, little bit of a shiny, but not in a bad way. It should be just fine. Just fine. And then whatever. Oh, this would be the paper version of the map, So, which is a... Yep, so this is the paper version of the map. But we're going to look at the mounted map. Again, Campus Simple Publishing, kicking butt with the component quality. And I do like that they do offer it, though. So if you were like, hey, I don't even want a mounted map. I hate it. I don't like it. You know, old school or just whatever. You can go ahead and you have a paper one. Boom. But we have a nice mounted map here. And I do mean nice. It's the full, like, wrapped, uh, very thick mounted map, as you can see. Boom. With the full, like, the wrapping around the edge. It's not a super large one. I mean, boom, where the camera default, where I have my camera, you can already see the whole map, whole playing surface. So we're going to definitely be able to get some games. And it's so just setting it down. Maybe it's because it is only the, the four folds, full fold, two fold, whatever you'd call that, I guess, four panels. It's basically, I mean, it's lying flat right now, like 100% flat. I know the camera is coming from top down, so you maybe can't see it, but... There's no, I don't need to even put any books there. Sometimes with modern maps, you have to put like books or another couple game boxes that are loaded up just to flatten everything out overnight. This one looks like it's ready to go. Um, looking at it from up here, looks good, looks real nice. You can see different areas, I assume starting. You can see obviously the German cross, Soviet star. Oh, yep, German control at start, Soviet control at start, yep. Airfield, Hoth entry. Key areas, so where Hoth would show up. Game turn track down here, we'll have to walk to a commitment level. Relief force commitment, weather track, Hoth release force. And then you have your sequence of play on the map, always appreciated with these solitaire games. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I can show you guys. Looks really nice, I like it. Who did the map? They did a great job. Map graphics, Aliyah Kudrashov. I know that he does a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of different um, war game maps and stuff. So this one looks very nice. All right, I like that. Um, and then I believe, so we have the cards here. Let's go ahead and if I can try to get them open quick. Um, just look at the map while I'm opening these cards. Yeah, that's right. Distraction, that's the key to the game. You have to distract people. Um, I know that, or I've read that, the original one used, I think, just counters. Uh, for like the random events and whatnot. This one has the cards. So you have the, looks like it's the box art, right? Yep, the box art. Um, minus any sort of logo. Doesn't, uh, well, the company, copyright 2021. Canvas Symbol Publishing doesn't have, you know, Stalingrad Solitaire on here, it just has the cover art. All the same. Linen finish cards, you can see if I do it right. Yep, you can see that linen finish on there. So very nice, rounded corners, nice and thick. You should These cards should last a long time. Um, special delivery of food, all right. You get hungry when you're besieged. Plus two supply points immediately. Weather, offensive, attacks, random. So I know that and it should be numbered in the bottom right. Yep, so you're gonna have, you know, it should generally, if it follows what I understand, it's going to be, you know, you're going to be drawing four different things. You want to draw one card for everything. It would be each time you had to check for something, you would draw a different card, different card, because they're all going to have different results. You know, fair weather, fair weather, poor weather, etc. So I'm going to go through each one, but it looks like it has the photographs from Stalingrad there. So that's pretty cool. They include that a little historical flavor. All right. All right, I think that's it, isn't it? We got cards, we looked at the map, very nice. Looked at the counters over here, wherever they went. Oh, here they are. Um, includes that extra map, if you, you know, paper map, if you wanted to, if you just can't stand mounted maps for some reason. Otherwise, this one looks really good. So anyway, the game looks good overall. Um, we're gonna dig into this one eventually. Um, I don't have a timetable on that. I have a couple games in the queue, things like that. But I did wanna get this, uh, recon unboxing taken care of and show off this game to you guys because you know this one um and i don't even know if i mentioned this at the beginning is a kickstarter fulfillment that it was just going out i don't think there's gonna be a lot of these left to, for sale um i think that's what john compton said which is a little bit of a bummer um and so hopefully this video is not a tease hopefully you can actually 
watch it and then get your hands on a copy. But let me know below if you played the game. Um, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you play, think of the original. And uh, until next time, guys, later.